What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we are doing episodes 49 through 52. Very, very excited to get more into this Logue Town arc. See more of Smoker. See more of Luffy. More of Gold Rogers. Zoro get some swords. Hope uh, there's a lot of things I am very excited about. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna hop right onto it. Don't forget if you guys want early access up to eight episodes or the full uncut version of these episodes. Check out the Patreon. Links are down below, like always. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that notification bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Please leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below. Let's get right on into this One Piece episode 49. Let's do it. That's what gets me excited. Smoker thinks he's nice. And he's supposedly the guy who's handled all the pirates around here for a long time. So. Oh, oh good save. I wonder if Luffy or the squad will ever actually be officially arrested and put in jail, you know? Luffy's like, say less. That's all I needed to hear. No has... You idiot. He's like, yep. He's got a devil fruit. I like how he's on the opposing side, but because of that, he has a certain level of respect for Gold Roger. And he's like, you, King of the Pirates, don't make me laugh. That's what I'm saying, Smoker. I'm with you. Oh, he's looking for the girl that was with Buggy, right? Isn't that her? Wait, why did I see a big club like that? It looks like Alvita's club, but it's not her. Oh, this is the girl with uh, Zoro. Yeah, you do need to pay for him. <laughs> She's like, you look like you are in a tough spot, good sir. This is not where we want to be going. Not at all. She is getting him a job. Technically, he is. She went out of her way to get you a job, help you out, you know? Zoro's actually doing it. <laughs> I know she just goes about her day. Okay, three mob style. <laughs> Look at my man. So this is the training they're doing. Sergeant Major is very good. Mm, again, reminds him of Kuina. And disarms them and disables them in a matter of seconds with some brushes. Left the money with them there too. And the note. Probably going to say like for the glasses or something. I can just imagine me watching this live. Like when the show came out, a commercial cut would come on. But all right, we got a minute. Go get the fucking water and the popcorn. Go. I used to do that with Naruto when it would come out live. Try to do everything on the commercial breaks. Uh oh, that's a sword selling spot. Weapon shop. Let's get us some new swords, even though we have no money, right? Even though we just paid for our glasses. We should have only. Why are all merchants and media like that, you know? Look at this dude's face. With a legendary sword. 
This guy's a horrible bartering. Like, you can so tell it's so valuable if you're going up that. Look at him. Like, that sword is not for sale. This guy's gonna offer a million berries for a sword. Small world, even though he just said it's a big world. She's a royal class dimwit. <laughs> She knows it by name? I believe... What did she just say? I believe it's one of the 21 Owazamono swords. Okay, I'm going to go next to my note that says Wado Ichimonji. Do a little side note. The 21 Owazamono swords. I don't even know what that means, man. Okay, I am uh, don't know what that means, but I'm excited about it. There's 20 others. <laughs> I mean, you threw the sword at her, but she is a little clumsy. This girl is so funny. Unforgivable. It's a good question. It's a good goal. There's 50 more. There's a 71 total legendary swords. For like a military swordsman, though, that's a great goal. Imagine having that collection. another legendary sword kitetsu number three so it's the so it's not quite into those levels but the previous ones before it were top level swords what does wazamono mean does that just mean katana or what is he's like the sword feels right in my hand you're selling it to me Ooh, with the music in the background come on zoro's the goat so the this Katetsu number three is a superior one to two and one, but because it's cursed, he's selling it for a bargain. Wow. He's like, it's perfect. If there's ever a way to give cadence and proof to the fact that we're the best swordsmen in the world, it's using a cursed sword, you know? What are they going to counteract you? <laughs> oh, I like that. What kind of test? What kind of gamble fucking is this? Is this how swordsmen tell if swords like them? Oh my god, I'm too nervous. I wouldn't have the balls to do that. I really wouldn't. It's like Russian roulette, honestly. <laughs> no, thank you. That would be me. I'd be like, sir, your arm could get cut off. He's like, hold on, I got the special sword for you. He's got black, black, black. Temple. The Yubashiri. You, this guy's getting serious now. He's like, okay. Yubashiri. The sword chooses the owner. It literally is like Harry Potter. <laughs> like, like the one, the one chooses the wizard. The one chooses the wizard, Mister Potter. It's not always sure why. I'm so butthurt. I'm so butthurt. We got Buggy, the new mysterious lady, Smoker, and the Marines all after Luffy. God damn. This is how the episode's gonna end. We got some crazy fights going on next episode, hopefully. Rematch already. Luffy and Smoker. All 
All right, on to episode 50. Let's do it. Now, who in the flying hell is this guy? Daddy? Navy's most gifted snipers. Daddy Masterson. <laughs> Some other pirates are pissed that he's been bounty hunting. They're going to try to take him out. Now, how does one survive four gunshots like that? Oh, he's just way quicker. I mean, there's a reason he has this big ass cloak over him. You don't see that, you know. -ta -ta -ta, you know? <laughs> These are quite interesting goggles. Oh, and as he's leaving, they're gonna. This girl's gonna buy his goggles. <laughs> okay. Friends with the Navy captain. She has to be Carol, I'm assuming. Is this daddy's daughter? You are funny guy, Usopp. This is indeed Carol. He says he's a 30 million berry bounty, yep. You were so proud about that the other episode, Usopp. Oh, here comes Usopp, screwing some stuff up. I know, right? Right after he's about to let you go. A duel. Oh, yeah. You versus me to the death. Okay. He is like Blackbeard. He's like Edward Teach from Black Sails. He has like 70 pistols on him. The whole town is coming to watch this. The greatest gunslinger. Everyone in East Blue knows that. We already got a place dug for you as they're dueling right next to the graveyard. Now, I've never actually seen a live duel, obviously. Those have been outlawed for hundreds of years, but not even hundreds of years. That's where some presidents like dueled each other like 150 years ago. But you're not allowed to move, right? Like when you turn and shoot, like I can't just be like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Hopefully Luffy comes by and can distract daddy with a our 30 million berry bounty he tried to sneak away he tried to be sneaky and daddy shot the gun out of his hand through the smoke sometimes i feel bad for usopp for putting himself in these scenarios like this because like groveling never feels good you know Right? That makes it even worse. He's like, oh, you question my pride? Never mind. At the very least, these are my mistakes. I'll, oh, he might know Yasov? His dad's a sharpshooter? Oh, 
was hated. Now, either he's old friends with his dad, or his dad, they have like a rivalry, or hates him. Oh. I'm a soul you can tell. Please tell us. We got the Shank Squad. Yasop's nice. Daddy hit him with the shoulder shot. Yasop got him. So we let him live. Some sort of honorable thing. And so in turn, he's going to let Usopp live. Yasop's son. He has a daughter. So that's where they related to each other. I got a son of my own. He's like, family's important, but I'm not too good at it. Kind of like uh, Jing in that aspect. You know, he just had a higher calling. And just like Gon, uh, Usopp respects that and admires it. Damn. Mm -hmm. I like that. You guys have your strict rules that you guys live by, whatever. But we're free to do what we want. You guys will kill us. We'll let you live. That's how we do. Flipping the whole stereotype of the Navy being the good guys, the pirates being the bad guys on his head, you know? He's never told a soul that but Usopp. That's kind of cool. Yeah, knowing that your dad is with Shanks and beat Daddy Masterson, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it's a different kind of a different kind of man to lower yourself to raise another man up you know way to give Usopp some much needed inspiration right here <laughs> shouts out daddy masterson and he you know he's choosing his uh slingshot just gonna be a challenge it's not gonna be life or death miss it and you die okay is she gonna give him the goggles help him out maybe oh he thinks of the Usopp pirates, thinks of Kaya, his mom, Yasop. Ding! Come on. <laughs> it was a bullseye. I'd expect no less. Hell yeah. Never thought I'd be saying this in an anime, but shout out daddy. <laughs> we won Carol over. That's how you know. <laughs> That's how you know we're a good dude. Shouts out Carol. Shouts out daddy. Shouts out Yasop. Shouts out these goggles. For Usopp just getting some goggles, this could have been completely cut out. We would have never known. They did not need to do any of this. But now I feel, I feel even more hype for Usopp and his adventure. And the fact that he's an uh, ex Navy Militino. That's super dope. It's like that uh, Avatar Last Airbender of the anthology one, the stories. Now we get the story of Sanji, you know? All right, on to episode 51. Let's do it. I've been looking all over for you, Sanji. We got the. 10 years. We got the salsa dancing master. I'm so confused. 
Her name is Carmen. Oh. The fiery Carmen. So are we gonna... What? Are we... Are we gonna have some Shokugeki no Soma action vibes here? All cook she's beaten. Yeah, we've beaten all of these, so she is undoubtedly the best cook in the East Blue. So we're gonna have a food off, or what are we gonna do? You heard about the Barati and Zeph? <laughs> yep. So now we had the story of Zoro and the first one story of actually story of Luffy then the story of Zoro. Then we get the story of Usopp. And now we're getting the story of Sanji in terms of like this Logue Town arc, you know, get our own little individual little arcs. I love it. As she flies away. Uh huh. Never mind. She just span really fast and then, okay. I am. This girl is crazy already. What a passionate woman she is. As he's in the same restaurant. God damn. How aggressive can we be? He's going to accidentally hit the fork. The money's going to go flying. Land on Luffy's hat. Wow, we got money to pay for it. <sighs> I'm so butthurt. <laughs> like, come on. Oh, a one piece fish market would be insane. Look at the size of these and the colors of these fishes. Mm. Reminds you of the all blue, doesn't it? I could see that, especially us being so close to the Grand Line and the other ones, now, you know? But, mmm, yes, sir. Let's go see it. I like this fish selling guy so far. The hell is that? A you? I would say a unicorn, but that means one horn. It's an elephant bluefin tuna. Oh, uh, he's reminiscing of him as a child. Elephant bluefins like that? The gem of the ocean from the south. This is what's going to inspire him from the, uh, the cook against Carmen in this challenge, right? Look at the design. Look at the way that has a huge ass fin right there, like the elephant ears. And it has an elephant trunk, like with the horns. An elephant bluefin. It's so weird. A prize so we can win it for what? Okay. I thought this was going to inspire him to cook against Carmen, but not in this sort of way. So let's do it. The Cooking in Logetown Championship. <laughs> Jesus. I keep thinking Jose's nose is his eyes, but that's his nose. He's just ready for some good food. <laughs> Look at that dude. He's drunk. He's like, <laughs> He just wants that elephant tuna. I would love to eat. You cook that fish, I'll eat it. You could turn it into nigiri, sushi, sauteed, grilled, pan seared. Sanji, okay, so Sanji's the winner of round two. Carmen scaling up the bracket as well. And now for the final match. Okay, peeling them carrots. You're quick with it. Ooh. 
talk about filleting a couple of fish. More flashbacks. He's thinking about the all blue. So the red line, the grand line, I just, anytime I get a chance to see the map, I always pause it and take a look. I am going to absolutely one day buy a huge physical map of one piece, but to have, I see, I see what he's talking about. An idea of which it's theoretically impossible for there to be, for there to be a collective area shared by all the wildlife, you know? Zeph also agrees. That's where I'm like, hell yeah. Right? That's a good point. A legendary C. As, ooh, my man is chefing it up. He's got the soup, the stew, the sauteed. She just keeps gigging. She's like, Oh, beautiful. Both contenders have a smorgasbord of dishes ready. I would not be surprised if Carmen wins it, to be honest. She was about to, he was about to say Sanji. Was she on that ship the whole time? Wowzers. Shouts out to Carmen. What the hell? He's like, I don't even need to say it anymore. She said it beautifully. <laughs> Leo had to do it this time. All right, we're going to have a cook-off V2 someday. Shokugeki no Sanji. We got the blue, the elephant bluefin as well. We had quite the day today. We got two dope swords for Zoro, a great story for Usopp, <laughs> and look at this for Sanji. It's... it'll rain. Okay, Miss Navigator. There are people like this who can actually tell. Like, Iroh was like, I can smell a storm coming, you know? That lady in Avatar was like, I can feel it in my joints. I feel like next episode is gonna be a uh, quite the crazy one. We got Smoker, Buggy, the girl. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. We're back at the execution platform. We're going to have a culmination of everything in this next episode. <laughs> All right, we got one final one to watch. I'm excited. All right, on the last episode of the session, 52. Let's do it. Yeah, older than before you were even born. That's crazy to think about. Isn't Luffy like 17? Okay, she is ready. Long time no see. Now she's been carrying around this club relentlessly. Is this Alvida? There's absolutely no way. No. With how much everyone is saying she's beautiful, it has to be Alvida. There's no way. What, but how? What? They're like, whoa, you hit this beautiful woman? What's wrong with you, kid? It is Alvida. I don't understand how this happened at all. I... I'm flabbergasted. Uh, 
That's what I'm saying. But talk about a talk about a rematch from the first eight episodes. Wait, is that why the fountain just bounced off her? She has a devil fruit too. That one one big change. That was the big change. Yep. Okay. Well, we have from the first eight episodes, we have Buggy and Alvita coming back for a rematch at episode 50. It's crazy. If someone saw that picture and had no idea it was Buggy, but why the fuck is a red button our enemy? <laughs> Boogie, <laughs> boggy, buffoon. Remain flashily where you are. After the entire sh crowd just screamed it, a body's already got him. I'm pretty sure he's moving a couple inches, but yeah. I feel like this this is about to this arc is about to start getting crazy. Buggy's like ten million, Alvita's like eight, six million, something like that, right? We got almost 50 million bounties up at the square. Okay. So I thought. And now he's disregarding it, but trust me, you'll catch your attention real soon. Imagine being out on a sunny ass day, then a storm like this kicks in. Absolutely not. This is scary as all hell. This is such a buggy. <laughs> Like, I don't think anyone else does executions like this. This is just Buggy Squad. The Flashily. I can't with this kid. I really can't. Alright, how's this gonna work? Sanji and Zoro gonna save the day? For the entire people of Logetown. Hell yeah. So brazenly says it as well. That they're all shocked. They're like, wow, the man who's about to die in five seconds is very courageously saying he's going to be the king of pirates. Where Gold Roger was born and died. Stop the execution. Two of the goats coming in right here. Alright, let's start this rematch. Alvita and Buggy in the gang versus our squad. Except this time we got Sanji. Ooh! Ooh! Triple sword! Ow! Axe kick! Toro kick! Who's going to say Baka? The lightning rod because it's so high up actually makes a whole lot of sense. I just saw a video the other day of like the Eiffel Tower getting uh, in Paris, getting electrocuted, getting struck by lightning, and it looked very similar. I don't I don't know if it went that long, but it was fucking crazy. That's the heavens themselves. That's fate saying Luffy is not meant to die here right now. 
I'm sorry, but if I'm gonna chop someone's head off and a lightning bolt hits me directly and says, no, don't do it, I'm gonna be like, oh, wow. This guy is, this guy is meant to be here. Okay, our straw hat is still good. Where's the boy Luffy? I see his feet. Oh, we're chilling. <laughs> Jesus. I got lucky. Yep. <laughs> Do you believe in God? Because, like, we need to go buy a lottery ticket for you right now. It's not it. That is a good question, though. Why did he smile? Exactly like Goldie Roger. People with only people that are deranged, but are, you know, it's like, hmm. It's very similar to uh, Classroom of the Elite for me. And I now consider them like, like I keep that quote in my head, how it says um, genius is just one level off of madness or something like that in the building that is that is your brain, you know? And so like, I only say that because Goldie, Roger, and Luffy are a different type of person to where they could be seen as deranged, you know, crazy, psycho, but they're like, I don't want to say the term genius because we all have a certain connotation, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. They're just different. There's, they're just different beings in their essence, their resolve, their will. So it's like, and especially coming from Smoker who saw Gold die, you know, he's like, I've only ever seen this happen one other time with Gold. And Luffy did it too? He is very intrigued by Luffy. Right? Literally what I said. It's literally what I said. It's like heaven itself is saying it's... The storm of fate has arrived, wind blow? Who the fuck? What the hell? Talk about a great arc. Talk about Logetown. Holy smokes. Um, I'm gonna start it with Zoro and Kuina. I, I'm not gonna, her name's not, actually I have her name, Toshigi, with Zoro and Toshigi and how she is such a, cl a klutz and a dimwit and she's looking out for him and she wants she i like her goal like she's a swordsman she's obviously really good at it i, li I liked the design of her sword as well but she wants to get rid of all the legendary swords in these criminals hands because she's like that's what sucks about being a master swordsman and what sucks about all the master swordsmen out there they're all bad fucks who don't give a shit about honor or anything so i'm gonna take these legendary swords out of their possession and i actually like that goal and we got Zoro with his new one, which is the Kitetsa 3, Curse Sword, dope. And then our other one, who was like another, not like up there, up there sword, but was like a top 50 year, right? Something like that. Something. All I can say is Zoro and Tashigi, really like them. And we got Usopp and Daddy Masterson, thoroughly enjoyed that story. Thoroughly enjoy seeing more of Yasopp and getting more of Usopp's resolve and another bounty hunter as well, uh, let alone a nasty one like Daddy. Um, then we go over to Sanji and Carmen. I loved seeing more Sanji backstory, getting the all blue, reaffirming his resolve as well, and then ending it off beautifully with Luffy and the rest of the gang converging on this big overarching climax during the during this uh, execution, Buggy and Alvida. I don't even want to get into that, but... They were, their plans were foiled, and now Smoker is doing some reevaluating on the situation and on his honor as the, as Smoker himself is going to go handle Luffy, make sure he doesn't get out of there. So I'm very, very excited. But then we have this fucker at the end who was talking about the storms of fate, but I could be forgetting, and I definitely want to rewatch all this show, like in terms of reaction, so I can rewatch it, you know, so I can re-remember some shit, but was it... The Arlong Park arc? Or which arc was it? It was either Arlong Park or the one before that. But before that was Barati. So I don't think it was that. Because I'm pretty sure we were on land. It might have been even the one before that with Clahador. 
wasn't there a guy walking on the beach in like a cloak just like this like i'm a ghost or am i dead or am i and i, and I was like what the f and then we never brought him up again and then we have this happen so i'm very intrigued to say the least hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell all that jazz check out that patreon for early access up to eight episodes one week and fully uncut fully unedited uh don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out y'all <laughs>